So reset and then after. Hey guys, so I'm back from Bali, back in New Zealand here, so that's why I don't have much of a setup, just recording from my room for this one. This tutorial is a really special one because this is from a student from within the course, so she's come full circle from student now to having really amazing work that I actually would ask to do a YouTube tutorial on her images now. So she's gone from broken feed, not understanding color, to being able to get a consistent feed, amazing image and she even recorded a video breaking down why she was able to make the switch from being unhappy with her photos to getting really nice edits really nice color palettes and understanding the why behind light so just pretty cool going from a student to someone i would reach out to to do a tutorial on here so pretty cool that i'm gonna try to recreate one of my uh students images here so we'll go through it and we'll get this nice really smooth looking style okay so first off it's actually a really nice image like great photography as well so 2.8 so the background isn't too sharp you can see a bit of softness there 54 mil whatever compresses the background and fits what you want into the image and then shutter is just whatever exposes the image correctly low iso because it's very bright and we're white balanced pretty good and i think like the first place you've got to start with like there's obviously a bit of a glow like those clouds are gone so actually we'll start with just upping the highlights a bit you can see like this detail there a bit of contrast okay so we definitely need to do some work in the curves and like what this style has is a matte to the image so it has a shine it has an underexposed look and that takes some time to train your eye to be able to see that so i'm going to do this see how that like drops the exposure of your image i'm going to go about there drop it down and then i'm just going to brighten the image a bit in these ones So you can see more detail when we do that, but we just want to do it a little bit. And it's going to contribute to having a fade in the image, which I'll do a bit more soon. Okay, so these curves are pretty much the same as this one. Touch, touch different. So I want to bring up the shadows a lot. So I'm going to bring up the mids so we can see a lot more of our image by doing this. Hi everybody, my name is Manuela. I wanted to be more consistent with my style. I have used presets before, it's just, it wasn't looking consistent and I wanted to learn more about the theory of color and how to get your own style without using presets. That was the reason why I bought the course. When I got into the course, it blew me away that Martin was teaching even way more than I even expected and I understood finally how curves work, how to get a cohesive style and do it just by your own, not just with a preset. Color theory and then on top of that, the amazing lessons by so many teachers that they literally break apart their style and show you step by step how to get that same style in Lightroom. It was just like, yeah, this is the pace for me. Martin course is unique because I feel is the only course out there that actually explains from a very logical point of view how color works. A lot of people in this industry, it's a very creative industry, so they obviously put it all to just the creativity, but I think behind Lightroom there is a lot of science that can be also taught to people who are not that creative. Um, I struggle with that myself. So I wanted to learn the ins and out why this point why this point in the curve goes here and why it doesn't. More than just someone telling me, oh, just do an S curve. It's like, mm, no, I wanna know why and how it works. After joining the course, I was able to understand color theory, how it works within Lightroom, how it works within the curves and all the many tools that you can use within Lightroom. And little later, I actually developed my own style. I'll try to put like a picture here of what my feed looks like so you can see how cohesive it looks now before it was just a mess with presets. And I'm pretty proud that I can get to this point 
just myself doing it on my own. I've developed now my own preset that I use myself and that is my style and that's what my Instagram looks so cohesive lately. lately. If you are on the fence of buying this course, I would definitely recommend it. Basically, because if you're taking photography seriously, you want to know how all these tools within Lightroom work, especially the ones regarding color. But more than that, just to have the insights of how other pro photographers do it, it's just just worth it for that only model module. Um, but yeah, I hope you do get to enjoy this course and you create your own style and you become amazing pro editors. And then we don't want to, we don't want it too washed out. So I do want to keep some shadows. Um, soften those blacks to keep them nice and uh, smooth. So fade down here and let's bring down the highlights. So again, with them trying to get this matte kind of look and then let's just bring down the whites and that will bring down the brightest of brights. Okay, now you can see like we've got this little glossy look to the blacks, glossy look to the highlights and the whites there now. Okay, up here, we're pretty good. It's just up the shadows a little bit. We're gonna come in with some brushes so it'll make a bit more sense. Like, yeah, we, we need to see our subject a lot better. A bit more contrast. This contrast there. Um, there's a bit of a grit, like a sharpness to the image. And then as for brightness, I mean for vibrance, you want these colors to pop a lot. Let's do this. If we come to HSL, we'll just roughly do some colors before we like do the masks, masking, because it masking is quite important for this one. Luminance, the brightness of colors, there's just a real deepness to these oranges and stuff. We don't want this shiny, bright look. I think we want the deep colors. So we're just going to deepen like the oranges, yellows. Okay, and now saturation. Um, these blues are very strong. They're, they're only very slight in her image. So we're just going to drop a lot of these blues. Okay, so our blues are looking like close to what she has. Um, let's, up here we're gonna just get that reddish orange tone. So we'll go like this. A reddish tone to the oranges, but only slightly. Reds, there's only a tiny bit of reds on the subject. Let's just go this way. Okay, you can't see too much of that, but now we're gonna like brush, brush in some colors and get some brightness to our subject and stuff. So we'll start with a brush. Okay, so let's click on the subject. Let's unselect there. So shadows, we just want to see our subject for a lot. And then let's drop the clarity to keep keep our image. It's a, it's a style preference, but let's just keep our subject smooth. I think that looks a lot more like hers. And then let's grab this brush this is all the rocks in the front and what we're playing with is like warm and blue tones we can bring out all the warm tones in this rock by bringing up the warmth and then as for the background kind of do the opposite so we can bring out blues in the background by dropping the temperature and it's just up the exposure kind of blows it out at the back I think it kind of helps your eye on the subject, maybe. Uh, let's just play with the tones of our blue. So we need more of a teal and less of a blue. So we'll go this way. And this way for the aquas. Greens, there is basically no greens. So we'll keep them 
a little warm so they're a bit closer to the really orange yellows I usually just bring these roughly in line with everything else there's kind of like a warm tone throughout everything I'm gonna come into the blues and then just add a bit of yellow to the entire image especially in the mids just a tiny bit and I think that looks good and now we just get this hint of yellow or warmth throughout the image um, and we still get those blues showing through nicely I am pretty happy with that we could play around with could play around with this a bit a little more But I'm pretty happy with that. We're very, very, very close. So reset. And then after. Um, really smooth, matted. There's a mat going on. So you need to understand the curves and the limiting brightness and stuff like that. If you want that nice shine to your subject, to your shadows, to your whites. So that's a little tricky understanding how to get the mat style. The curves probably play the biggest role in this. See how much of a role they play saturation we don't want it too saturated because you know cinematic style pleasing look to your image requires often less saturation especially a cinematic look we want to bring out oranges rather than yellows and teals instead of blues so hue plays a pretty big role so this is hsl you can see that we get the majority of our tones through this um, again there's just a hint of warmth getting put in with the blues pulled out if you understand color theory that we go very in depth in, in the course but quite obviously yellow opposite of blue and then how that impacts all the rest of your colors so that's how I, I just knew to pull that down a little we want a very small amount of sharpening to give a more natural smooth look to the image we don't want that harsh digital look but we are good if you want to enroll in the course it's currently black friday so this is seriously the lowest price the course will be i'm trying to add in a hundred guest editors this year so the value just really really goes up when i do that and therefore this will be the lowest price it will be because it's forever increasing in value so again it's really 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 cool to see someone not understand color theory not understand the lightroom tools come into the course get all the resources like raw images presets uh, guest editors understanding the tools such as curves understanding how those tools use color theory and then the rules of creating colors combining colors how that has allowed her to create a style she is super happy with in the video she go talks about it students are now becoming photographers i want on my youtube channel definitely the strongest best place to level up your photography especially in editing it's the most affordable way to really level up your photography photography is ex really expensive so you can dramatically increase your photography for a very low price if you master editing master color understand how i do these youtube tutorials the why so i go much deeper into the why and then you get all these lessons from very very talented photographers where you get the raw image you get the preset you get the lesson to go along and you'll understand color theory and the tools there is nothing missing to get you to where you want to get and you can come over to martintrader.com in the description and you'll see all the testimonials of people breaking down what has been really helpful what was holding them back before such as not knowing what to do after presets just the curves just no idea what to do there and one of the huge things is just understanding the why behind everything um manuela says in her video it's a very creative industry uh it's very hard to learn the why and the science behind Lightroom and when everyone's just saying push this do that see what you like so yeah if you really want to level up check out the course comment people you want to see in another YouTube tutorial I don't do these as often but I promise to keep bringing them out and follow me on Instagram I hope to get back to Bali very very shortly if you've been on Instagram you've probably seen what I got up to there and yeah catch you guys in the next one